What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this absolutely stunning classic Honda CL450 double overhead cam. This is a scrambler, guys. Make no mistake, this is designed for on and off road use. This is the era where Triumph and Beast BSA, the death toll was ringing because Honda was producing motorcycles like this that surpassed them in every category. Being a full 450, produced in January of 1972. This thing was a little bit ahead of its time compared to the competition. It was reliable, bulletproof, didn't burn oil, didn't leak oil, and it was fast and fun and would ride forever. These are perfect classics. If you're looking for a bike to actually ride regularly and you want to invest in an antique or a classic, look no further. These things are electrically and mechanically bulletproof. Uh, real easy on the eyes with this metallic blue, stunning world-class paint job that Dean Sullivan put on this bike along with the original OEM Honda graphics and badges is uh, pr pretty cool. This is the factory original saddle on this bike. It still looks great after uh, what, 50, what is it, 52 years? Pretty remarkable. Bike's been completely gone through, top to bottom, front to back, it needs nothing. It rides really, really nice. It's got plenty of power. The original factory exhaust, the chrome is still good on the headers, which is really remarkable. You never see, ever see these come through with original factory chrome on them that is nice. They're usually pitted and uh, they've been mistreated and left outside, not this. This is the original HM347 exhaust. It does have the buddy pegs on here so you can ride a passenger around here. Original turn signals, original fenders, original tail light, everything works great. It even has the original handlebars on it. Um, it's been thoroughly upgraded and fully serviced and given a full rotisserie detail. The bike was completely dismantled. The wheels came off of it, the forks came off of it, the tank, the seat, everything was uh, right down to the engine and frame and then it was carefully cleaned, inspected and reassembled with new tires, front and rear, brand new Dunlop gold seal. K70 rear tire, brand new Dunlop Gold 70, K70 front tire and tube. The um, brake cable and the speedometer cable you can see are brand new. The fork boots are brand new. The levers and grips are brand new. The mirrors are brand new. The handlebars, the headlight, turn signals, everything else is original, uh, proving this bike's never been dropped, abused, and or left neglected. Um, the frame paint was, was repainted. The engine cases and cylinders and heads were all polished and clean. The chrome was all polished and clean. Full, what we call a rotisserie detail from the top of the, of the mirrors to the bottom of the tires. Everything's been cleaned, polished, waxed, uh, painted, and or um, just uh, polished. You can see the chain has been upgraded to a modern, brand new gold chain on there, which plays really nicely with the metallic blue paint job on there. Um, the original chrome is intact on the motorcycles. It has a little patina on the chrome, small pitting, as you'd expect on a 52-year-old original chrome. But the fact that the original saddle is intact and not torn or ripped is really quite remarkable. The original um, shifter is in excellent condition. You can see the engine cases are, are nice and clean, no evidence of it being dropped, uh, no oil leaking anywhere, and traditional Honda quality. It runs great. The tank has been not only completely restored on the outside, it's been completely restored on the inside. The inside of the tank looks new. It's been cleaned and uh, uh, repainted. Uh, the inside's been cleaned and uh, refinished inside and outside. The Air box has a new air filter in it. You can see the rubber boots new uh, going to the air box. The cars have been completely cleaned, dismantled, rebuilt. You can see the side cover's been repainted. The badge looks like it's brand new, uh, really clean. Um, the cars were not only clean, but but uh, on the inside, also on the on the outside, and, and everything's good to go. You can see it has a brand new throttle cable on there to go with the brake and clutch cable. It uh, has a new ignition switch. I'm gonna grab the work order because everything I've said so far, I've done by memory of being pretty familiar with, with this, this project because it's been in the shop for about six months on and off um, in between other projects. Let me just grab this and make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay. I did mention the full rotisserie detailing, uh, the professional repainting of the tank and side covers. Uh, the points were cleaned, the, the points timing was set, it has a brand new battery installed, um, carburetors again were cleaned, new spark plugs, 
adjusted the carbs, re, uh, new battery cables, rewired the battery cables, replaced the starter solenoid, uh, replaced the starter button, um, rear, rear chain and tire, front tire and tube. Let's see, um, new, brand new rear brake shoes, uh, new front brake light switch, uh, new front brake and clutch lever. Let's see, new throttle cable, brake cable, new engine oil. Uh, Replace the gas tank lock and the seat lock. Truck pulled up and we stopped filming, but uh, I don't know where we left off, but we changed the engine oil and gas tank lock and seat, seat lock, uh, new starter solenoid tires, uh, new front brake shoes, levers, uh, front brake switch, bra front brake cable, new fuel peacock, new air filters, new battery, and of course the paint and graphics, engine oil, and, and new fork boots. I think that pretty much summarizes it. That's the good news. Uh, the bad news is the work order total was very expensive. A total of 31 hours labor plus parts and supplies. Um, so the total came to $5,327 in parts and labor to resurrect this to this beautiful showroom condition you see it in right now. Um, it is going directly into the New England Motorcycle Museum where it'll be on display in the classic motorcycle section, Honda Classic Motorcycles. If you're looking for an investment quality classic that is ready to go, that needs nothing, uh, all the hard work's been done, all of the parts that are needed to replace were replaced, all the original parts were polished and, and or plated or painted, and it looks excellent. Uh, the original front fender is intact, which is uh, usually being an on off road bike. Quite often, these will get damaged or, or dented. It's nice and straight. The original forks are in mint shape. The original fender, rear fender, and tail light and turn signals are intact and in good condition. Uh, the original chain guide, it's 100% there, guys. Again, if you're looking for a classic that's ready to go on road or off, look no further. Your ship just came in. Thanks for watching, and God bless America. Just wanted to point out, I've got one thing. This is not only electric, but it's kickstart. I'll demonstrate. That's electric start, push button start. But if you ever did leave the, the battery on uh, or lights on and kill it, you can kickstart it too. If you just want to show your buddies who only have electric start how they did it back in the old days, it's got kickstart too. It's one kick ass machine ready to go.